we're going to go over some knife flow drills. One of the things I've always, I'm always talking about is a seamless transitional integration. And from empty hand to blade to stick. I think it's really important to be able to flow and, and mimic and shadow the movement of your training partner. And it develops attributes to be able to do that against an opponent. I'm going to teach you flow drills. I think they're fun. It's good eye-hand coordination. It's going to teach you to listen. It's, it's, going to, it's very uh, complicated at times, and, but it integrates well with our empty hand stuff. Uh, personally, I think kind of like classical uh, Chi Sao from Wing Chun, I think you should uh, get involved in it, take a look at it, uh, taste it, taste the flavor of it, experience it. Uh, but don't get lost in it. Do not get lost in the flow. If you spell flow backwards, it's wolf. And don't, you know, what happens is all you, all you really do is you learn how to flow. And, uh, which is good. Get that attribute developed. And then for me, in a real life situation, I'm going to stick them. Okay? So I don't know if I'm making any sense or not, but hopefully the, the training here is... Addie and I did not rehearse any of this. This is just... Stuff we kind of talked about over coffee before we filmed. So we're just going to kind of work through it. It'll be kind of fun. So empty-handed wise, we're going, to, we're going to use the base of hoobud. Okay, so here's our hoobud line. You can move around, get quick, all the things that it can be. Okay, and we can do our flow drills out of them and come around and so on. And things that you've seen us do. Here she punches, I can bong, lock, hit, flow, come a lock, flow, all these different things into a finger lock, back around to here, go ahead, back. Okay, so you get all that. You've seen it in our skill sets and, and different things.